Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Zero Strategy Game Man. We are playing Gary Grigsby's War in the East. Our advance as the Germans on Soviet Russia is faltering. And it's now blizzard conditions, as you can see over here. The Russians have amassed a whole new army, I think, over here. Um, and certainly a number of troops down here. So that is starting to look extremely tough for us. Um, and I'm sure we're going to lose hard over here. Uh, so let's see what's going to happen. Uh, we are trying to race back some of our troops over here into this area. Uh, we've mostly brought them back on the railway line because in these blizzard conditions they can hardly move. Um, I think the line down here is relatively stable, but down here I'm, I'm very, very concerned uh, overall. So I'm really not sure how this is going to go um, and, and whether it's going to go well at all. Um, I suppose we can pretty much say it's not going to go well. Um, that being said, I think I'm going to hand it over towards the Russians over here. And we're going to see what they are going to do. I'm, again, it's it's amazing to see how, with what sort of troubles uh, the Germans were really um, faced in real life. And we do have a little pocket down here of a couple of uh, Russian troops. Even though we've defeated 500,000 Russians at this point and taken them prisoners, they still have more troops than we have. They've just replaced these losses just like that and I think they are going to start some more serious attacks over here. For now they're only doing recon flights, which I suppose I'm not too concerned about. Actually they are losing a fight over there, which is nice. Um, but yeah, let's skip over these recon flights, they're not the most exciting thing to see really. It's interesting to see they are doing that mostly down there. Let's pause for a second here. Let's see what hap is happening because I uh, kind of want to see what's going on. So we have about 14,000 men, they have about 28,000 men. Uh, we've got about decent number of artillery pieces actually. We are losing only a very few men. Why they are losing a thousand men. Just look at that. They are attacking into, into this vicinity over here, which is close to Moscow, uh, but really not something that is helping out, us out at all. Our defending forces are holding out. That's good. Yep. And they did click away that battle. Unfortunately, and we are being driven away from this position here in the second battle. Uh, this one also doesn't look r that great. Uh, we have 30,000 men up here, and they are attacking with 56,000. This is amazing. Again, we are only losing 100 pe uh, guys, whereas they are losing 16 times that much, uh, plus two bombers. But I suppose we are going to be kicked back over here, and that is that is troublesome, uh, to me at least. Are we going to be kicked back? Four level health, but we are holding out. Okay, that's good. I think they do need three to one ratios, but they do get an additional one. Yeah, on the other hand... What's going on over here? They're attacking again at the same position with only 10,000 men? We're starting to lose more here. It's interesting to see, though. What have they got over here, really? Two cavalry divisions, I think. From two different armies, even. We have a couple of artillery pieces over here, so they have a, lo a large number of this. Why are we losing so many quote-unquote men, though? That is difficult to see. Another battle slightly further to the south over here. And here it looks like they are bringing in a lot more forces. What have we got, actually? We've got two infantry divisions, including one that is in incredibly highly loaded with pioneers and panzerjägers and all of that. That's not going to be enough if they have 36,000 men. Why are they doing so much better than we are, though? I wonder. They have more artillery pieces. They have not that many more men. They don't have that many more tanks. We are losing 200 men. They are losing 2,500. And still, it seems we have a much better value over here. That is interesting. Or is that always attacker versus defender? I wonder. No, we are holding out. Interesting. Interesting Interesting ratio there. That I qu didn't quite understand. Another battle up here in the far north. We are holding out very well against these 10,000 men. 60 men lost against 1,000. They're throwing so many forces at us there now. Another battle here close to Reshef. Let's uh, hold out here for a second as well. 25 men, uh, 1,000 men lost on there. 25 men lost. A thousand men lost. More than a thousand men, actually, on their side. Plus a bomber. But they can take these types of losses, and we cannot. 
This is... And he is the second one. They are following this with attack on attack. And we're down to 15,000 men. And we are retreating. We are retreating into Reshef. That's starting to become a problem. They also is starting to attack that second uh, second division over here. And if this line over here, Reshef, is going to fall, that would endanger the supply lines of all of these guys, especially if they even were to go down there in this field. We are holding out here. That's good to see. That's very, very, very good to see, actually. They're losing four tanks there. But they are starting to push through the little gaps that we have in our lines. Um, and this guy here is starting to look a little bit cut off as well. And again, another attack on these guys. At some point, they are going to break. It's more or less a question of when. Or if. These guys are actually sort of cut off now with this cavalry division sort of breaking behind our lines. So this is really not started. This is really, really starting to look a little bit bad for us. We are holding out on this this line. These guys must withdraw, though. They are very, very exposed. Our entire line over here is very exposed. This There's a huge gap over here. Oh, interesting that they are attacking over here. I would not have expected that. I would actually very much like to take this guy out. Um, because it would be so great to just get that position and, and start to... Oh, we are being pushed out of this little village down here. That's not quite as bad. I was sort of expecting to hold behind this river, um, although it would have been nice to just form a line up here. We do have some fort levels here, and we are holding out. We are doing a lot more damage than they are, so I, I suppose that is okay. These kind of, of loss ratios, are e even the Soviets cannot take losses of, of 50 men against 1,000. Basically, a, a 1 to 5 ratio is what we must get to be net gaining victory points. And we are doing that. We are easily doing that here. Ooh, this is also a very, very wait a minute. Now oh, that was a very, very interesting attack because they are cutting, trying to cut us off there. I'm not sure I flew enough missions. I think I did. Right, so let's see what's gonna come out of this over here in our turn. So our pocket over here is starting to shrink even further, which is certainly not great. On the other hand, we are starting to pull out a couple of forces here, so that at least is good. And we are on the doorsteps of Moscow and we cannot take it just due to the weather. It's so sad for us. Let's see what we will be able to do though. So, overview of our losses. Um, 15,000 men disabled on our side, um, so that's not great. 16,000 men lost in total, 29,000 men lost for them. I mean, they have a lot of men killed, which is good. But you can see overall, they have lost, in total, they have lost a million men in these fights, whereas we have lost 200,000. And still it feels like they are winning, and still it does. We're losing a couple of tanks over here, mostly due to attrition, I think, 18 Panzer threes. Large number of rifle squadrons and all of that. But yeah, let's see what's going on over here. So this is close to total collapse, especially with these with this cavalry, what is that? A cavalry corps even advancing behind our lines. Very bad. Very, very bad. These guys hardly able to pull out. Very bad as well. This here is ex is is extremely vulnerable now because this rail rail line. If someone is over here, this will be cut. And this is not counting as, as the railway line in the same sense. These troops are doing something interesting over here. They are mostly, they must be completely exhausted though. That's three divisions down there that are completely exhausted. So I think the first thing that we need to try is bring up the railway line connected over here. So at least that that is a little bit safer up there. Luckily, we do have our rail hat or our rail units very close up here. So let's actually bring you guys down. Start to repair that line a little bit there. Come down here, I suppose. Repair that as well. And that should deal with these two fields there, which is certainly a good start, I think. And then this gentleman here, 
I mean, you're basically out of movement points, right? You cannot move anywhere? No, you cannot. Okay, that's all right. Then we're going to bring you up here. Can repair the railway line there. Bring you up further. Repair there. And then what we have is at least... Whoop. At least we have full, build a full circle around there. So we can actually supply any of these troops up here. Uh, also via this railway line in, into this way, sort of. So this is not quite as critical now. Um, and we will be able to, to solve that. And then next turn we probably send one of these guys down here and maybe the other one will take a railway line all the way up here over here uh, because we definitely need to do some uh, do something about these guys there yeah good okay yeah that does make sense uh, we don't have any more railway building units um, but that's okay down here everything seems to be more or less fine we are extremely spread out that is that is very very thin mm, but at least we do have decent Decent fortification levels over here. It's interesting to see that they attacked over here. We only have a construction battalion. Why do we have a construction battalion over there? Wait a minute, let me see that. I thought we had to build that up. Okay, apparently we haven't, but that's alright. Still, we've got a very good fort level over here, and these guys are a little bit shy on equipment. But all in all, I think you were doing all right. Can we assign more units? Just a flag battalion doesn't really need to do that right now. And um, how about you guys? Yeah, you're fine as well. How about you? You have a lot of construction battalions. I'm not sure that is strictly required. I think we are relatively fine over here. Although just building more fort levels would certainly be much appreciated. So let's keep it for now. I think these guys here are on their way down through the south, so, so that's okay. Uh, they will probably try to guard. Are you coming down really? Wait a minute. Was I being stupid? Mm, well, not quite stupid. They're very far away from the headquarters, is the issue, but at least this is two infantry divisions that will be able to plug these gaps, um, or some of these gaps as they do develop. So I think that's alright. I'm yeah, fairly fine with this position. It would be nice to get a little bit more artillery into here uh, or there. How about you? I think you have a an artillery battalion. And you just have one, right? And two construction battalions. You are part of the 13th Corps. The 13th Corps itself has... It does have a gun battalion. So we could potentially assign a gun battalion over here instead of a construction battalion. Not over here, though. You know what, let's keep it here. I think it will be flexible enough to, to go wherever it will be needed. So, all in all, that seems to be alright. This cavalry up down here can potentially advance. I mean, we could attack it, but there doesn't really seem to be any point doing that. Only if it was to advance further, but I suppose it doesn't. there's no point for it to do that, really. So yeah, the question is what we're going to do with these two infantry divisions. Again, this line here is extremely thin. I suppose they're not going to try to break through over here, but this here looks already a little bit flimsy. Over here it doesn't really make sense for them. Up over there would, or some somehow down there. Yeah, all of this is, is very, very vulnerable. How do we look in terms of supply? Most of our units should be in, in supply theoretically. Except for maybe up there, and maybe we need to pull these guys back as well. Likewise you, I mean your main point should be to try to get out of here. Okay, let's get it down there. I think that's alright. Tank unit, it's fairly, fairly valuable. I'd also like um, these guys to connect the railway line up there, because still all of our supplies are coming through this area. Even if we do know, now have a loop up here, all of, our all of our troops are supplied by this railway line, and, and if this is cut, uh, we'd, be in a, we'd be in big trouble. Uh, so just connecting these couple of points here would be really, really lovely for our construction battalions to do, but I don't think they will do that right now. I think in 1942 we will start to pull some, uh, some of the captured Russian troops. Look at all of these Russians. Man, this is so, so, so disheartening. Right. Let's 
much nicer to look at this down here because there's not that much. Uh, right. Over here, you you guys are doing fine. Let's see, you have two divisions over here. So we could cool, send one back. Suppose we could also send, kick back that unit there. How about for the Russians? I mean, they have supplies coming anyway, all these ways. So there's no point really doing advancing over there. How about over here? So we have evacuated from this little village. How are you guys doing? Oh yeah, you're fairly weak. Can sign you with a stoop. That might not be too worse. The worst idea. I would really like to kick these guys out. If we get this position, we sort of dominate this bend in the river, um, and that would really be a very, very valuable defensive position. So it would be simply great. Great. To get that position. Let's try this. And we are kicking them back easily. They're even shattering. Nice. That was, I think, the first successful winter offensive that we saw over here. So can we bring anyone forward enough to, to actually take this position now? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Look at this, another cavalry call. Relatively weak though, I think. I feel. 83 cavalry guys. Compare that to an infantry division. 150. No, it's not even. A, that's a brigade. So compared to an infantry division, which has 350 men, these guys only have 83. How about these guys up here? 88. They're not that strong. They do have a lot of mortar support. Uh, but their actual squadrons are not that strong. Let's move you forward here. You've been just kicked out over here, but I still think this is a good position for you to hold. So that's alright. And we actually do have an infantry unit over here as well. We are slightly stronger here than I thought we would be. Could send you down here. To prevent these guys from breaking through. But then again, this is really only a brigade. I don't think we need to plug that gap for now. Over here, this is starting to look a little bit untenable. It's nice that we could potentially capture this town here. It would be so great to just break through over there and maybe, maybe cut off, cut off Moscow. And you can see some of the railway lines that they have are coming in there. It's only these two railway lines that are coming into Moscow, and this one we could block off. They would still be in supply, as long as we don't really take all the way over here. And it's just ever so tempting to try and, and just get there. But it just doesn't feel like the right thing to do. Over here, these guys... I would really like to bot them. They should be very, very low, low on supply. They should be very ready to surrender. Um, and it is a fair number of Russians. So that we really, really shouldn't underestimate. Um, on the other hand, it would be n very nice to get some troops here into these gaps as well. And I think that's the most important thing for these tank units here to do. So that's your part of the... Is that the... 57th? 57th Panther Corps? So you've got what? You've got this tank division and these two guys. Are you are you on the railway tracks? We probably are. Yeah, so we could get all of you over here or we could start to send you over there sort of to the far end. I think potentially this way, this over here, is the more immediate threat to us. I think we should send you here into this 
town. Hopefully this town will be able to hold out against this guards division. You're sort of covering the flanks over there, but that's probably not that important. Put me back behind the river. They will expose you more. But you're currently based in their town at least. Well, you don't have any fortification levels. The town itself would be extremely important though. So let's actually assign the Stuck Battalion to these guys. It's a little bit less valuable in, in the town itself. A lot of, a lot of potential guys that... Uh, put a lot of potential troops that could be assigned to you. I guess you guys here could be pulled back a little. Does it make sense for us to pull these guys back? I think it does. To gain a little bit more flexibility. And you haven't got, got many fortifications up there, have you? No, you haven't. Okay, let's pull these guys back. You might even be swapped out against these dudes. Can't really send you all the way to Rechef. Could send you into the swarms, but... Not sure we really want to do that. How about you? Can you get into Rechef? No. You could, of course, but that would only leave this gap wide open. Okay, you definitely need to come out of there. Let's bring you down here. Okay, so we got a decent amount of, of troops over here now. You guys should be ready to strike. Next turn, baby. Oh, you actually do have some turns this turn, so that's great. Let's send you down here then. Um, and I suppose, who actually has some, some turns left? You're a very, very strong unit. You could actually potentially even strike against these guys, turn them a little bit away from us and, and sort of deflect their advance. That would be kind of tempting. They are in forest, but if we bring these two guys up... And we cannot strike. Okay, well that's fine. The positioning itself is 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 all right for me. Send you up here. So this position is at least stable. This here is still they're still able to cut off this position. So in that sense we might actually pull you back all the way over here. Yeah, that looks reasonable to me. Safeguarded this this town especially. I think that's all right. You're both part of the 13th Corps, so I th suppose you don't really have um, any sort of artillery or any construction battalion or anything that I could assign over there. I suppose what I could do is grab you guys here and assign you to someone else. No, not directly. Um, but I think I can... Can I ask you to sort of return to headquarters? Yeah, I can. There we go. Army Group Center it is. Army groups, this is... Where's Army Group Center? Have you guys any attached supports? No, you don't. Well, that's alright. You've got a lot... Of, wait a minute, you're not the 13th Corps, are you? You are, so you've got all of these construction battalions, gun battalions, and everything. So we should potentially have actually assigned this to... To get you out of there, maybe? Yeah. Okay, let's send you out of here. Let's click over here and let's build a fortified zone over here. Fortified zone, we are going to assign you to the 13th 
No, sorry, uh, this way. The 13th core, which is going to be slightly open in combat now. And we're going to sign a construction battalion. And a gun battalion. Two construction battalions and a gun battalion. That's fine, so let's try to turn this um, into a very fortified position. And hopefully that is going to be alright. Good, um, let's also look at the rest of the situation up here. So, I suppose, I mean, it's nice that you're sort of guarding this, this position. Um, and I suppose you are very well dug in. You are. Same for you. On the other hand, over here, this is this is sort of in free fall. So yeah, we need to send more troops there. And our red rail line doesn't extend all the way up here, but we have got these guys. Move them up over here. Get them on the rail. And I cannot move them up. Why? You are on the railhead. Why can't I do the railway cap? Is that it? I probably used it all up. Oh dear, this is not good. Definitely not good. Let's try to pull you back then. What else have we got over here? These tanks over here. Let's try to attack. Very good, but they retreated. Why would they retreat? They are shattered. They are out of supply. And we cannot beat them a second time. Damn it. How can they be so incredibly strong? Finally they are surrendering. And look how tough that fight is for a single division. For, for the cadets division. And we've got guards in there. Ah, oh, this is so frustrating. Good. Cannot even attack there. That's alright then. Who are you? You're the panzer group itself. Suppose we need to pull you back. I'll keep you here for now. We're gonna need to resupply these units. And I suppose that position up here will need to be given up. They've got relatively weak unit up here. And this looks so temptingly open. But I don't think it will be viable to do that. Especially since even these units here are out of supply. It's going to be a little bit better once we bring down the railway line this way. But for now this is this is definitely not sustainable. Up over here we do have a decent number of infantry divisions and all of that. Some divisions that are sitting in this um, fortified zone as well. Which we are building up. Down here we don't even... We don't even have any, any build-up of forts. Well, 32%. And I think it sort of looked like a nice position, but right now I'm not too, too, too sure anymore. So I think these guys might need to be disbanded and we're just pulling back anyone. Straightening out our front line a little bit to free up some reserves to, to deal with all of this situation up here. I think that's the, that's the best way that we can deal with this. But you know what? I think we will need to... Uh, Wait until next time. Look at all of this. This is so so awesome in the in the literal sense of the word. I mean they also have a lot of offensive power over here, but I feel slightly more confident that with all of these tanks we will be able to hold them uh, back at least for a while. Although some of these guys have taken a very be heavy beating over here as well, that shouldn't be underestimated. So they are elite troops. How's your mor morale looking? 90%. You're still doing very fine. I would, in this type of situation, 
I would, I would be, I would be. Maybe you don't have a full picture as an individual soldier, but it doesn't look good. It just doesn't look good for, for, for the Germans at all. Right, that being said, thank you very much for watching, guys. Do leave a like and all of that, and see you again next time. Bye-bye.